Uh, also, C Butterfly Forty Two just subscribed. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, you know what they say about sea butter? But I see butter, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Ed, Ed. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. That's the only... There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. It was Edgeworth's knife. <laughs> uh, I mean... I assume I'm it's assuming this. We're dropping the, yeah, do they uh, want the... Do the, the, do the picture. The, the trophy. It, yeah, do they want the trophy itself or the... Yeah, because the trophy doesn't even have the sword part anymore. Right. Well, does, the, does the trophy evidence have in its text, it used to have a sword? Good uh, question. Cover over that. There's no, there's no... No, the, the, the trophy oh. evidence itself. If it if that says... It just says the, yeah, oh, the, the halberd, halberd was, was removed. removed. Yes, good Then call. yes, present then that. Yes, present the actual... If anything's broken here... It's you. <laughs> huh? I'm sure this must all be very amusing to you, oh, Mr. Wright. son of a bitch. But may I remind you that the fate of Miss Lana Sky hangs in the balance? God damn it. Sorry, Your Honor. Please, give me another chance. All right, all right. The murder right. weapon is... Yeah, okay. Take a look at this. It's a real murder weapon. I guess it's the oh. picture. Look at this. Look at this photograph. Literally. Man. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here, inside this picture. Wait. We can enter the picture? This is incredible. Uh, no, it's it. this isn't Mario 64, Your Honor. Oh. So you're saying I can't blue skadoo? Ah, <laughs> oh, very good. Thank you for that. Blue skadoo, we can too. This is a picture of the awards ceremony. Uh, ah! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the, the broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That's a broken knife. Well, close. Yeah. As we concluded, the knife in the picture was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was in all likelihood this award. I want an award! <laughs> Order! 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 Neil Marshall was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. You know, when the judge says order four times in a row, they it's say that the serious. world will stop. <laughs> so we've only gotten up to three. If there's ever four, you know that. I feel like there might have been a moment end. where he was like, order, 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 order. I could be wrong. We might be in an alternate timeline because that dimension is just done. We were, we were ordered into another one. Yeah. <laughs> As an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. It's kind of a shitty award. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. What What kind of statement is that? Of course he didn't carry a pistol. <laughs> this broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. But that... that can't be. Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim should be reversed. 
What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh! But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. Well, to be fair, they both died, but sure. I mean, one was executed later. Yeah. Wait, no, I thought he was he was also found dead at the scene. No, he was unconscious. Yeah, he was... Oh, that's right. Was it? I thought they were yeah, both. Yeah, he was, yeah, he he was, was executed. Yeah, knocked, knocked him unconscious. Oh, I thought they were both, like, found in a pile. Um... Yeah, because he was unconscious. Gotcha. He's, he was then tried. He was. Remember, remember he was still tried. Remember? Right. Oh yeah. We found, a, we found him in a cuddle puddle, pal. Uh, that's true. What's going Where? on here? It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusion. Okay. No. Wait. I. I remember now. I remember everything. What? Witness? Mr. Edgeworth. Gosh, you're just so hot. <laughs> what is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? Is your kiss on his list? Ah, I love that song. very good sign the one with that uh, picture scribbled on the back a uh, picture is a generous word <laughs> i knew it this picture is a masterpiece emma? wait i'm the one who drew it. emma <laughs> i'm sending this to the louvre <laughs> <laughs> Mona Lisa, masterpiece. Emma Sky's drawing, masterpiece. Masterpiece. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Eh, so Fuck like you. I hate you so much. <laughs> How dare you? What? <sighs> you drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. Why do they have to bring this fucking... Melody in here. What? All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I am so confused. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. It's when the blue badger descended upon us. I was gonna and say. <laughs> and ushered us into a new era of death and despair. What the fuck? Thank you. It was only from... Meekins battling him off that we were able to survive. One evil overcomes another. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix-up, and now... The blue badger? I'm actually, I, I'm so curious to see how the fuck the blue badger drawing factors into any of this shit. Yep, shits. me too, because I definitely do not remember a fucking second about this. It seems so irrelevant. This should be interesting. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed toward both of them. I think I, I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I, shot, I saw his shadow. What? What? <laughs> this is certainly most unusual. S. Nick in the chat says, It's been 70 years. <laughs> oh. Try impossible. I love, I really want to try impossible. <laughs> the head detective of the head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until last year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. 
Almost Christmas is not Christmas. Obviously, the Drew, the Blue Badger went back in time and inspired and inspired his own creation, creating a bootstrapping paradox. Mm. Oh, wow. But he, but he accidentally went too far back and appeared two years ago when he only meant to appear last year to inspire his own creation. Oh. What? And thus the multiverse was created. <laughs> Stop! Please! Don't pursue this any further! Alana! What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair! But you can't do this! I've already confessed to the crime! Lana, you're correct, but... Lana, we've we long care. established we don't care! <laughs> <laughs> we don't Why care can't you just you leave want? it at that? <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Sky. Fucking holder in contempt. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Here's the thing. Please turn back. Please, please turn around. Oh I really hope that she turns around to the next sprite. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> also, literally this entire time she's been trying to turn around. It's not her fault at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Judge is getting serious. Silence. The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. Jesus. Bailiff, don't, don't be smacking any pee-pees here. I, I was going to say, unfortunately, there's no pee-pee to smack, but do your best. <laughs> God damn it. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. Oh, if, if you only fucking knew. Huh. Uh, okay, I saw that memory's knife. Panic rushed towards both of them. Think I knocked I... away the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash lighting and I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. There's a lot to fuck it. I think we just gotta press everything. Yeah, just not from the beginning, why let's, not? Let's go. When you say that man, I assume you're referring to Joe Dark? Yes. At least, I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The power outage that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's office reports. So then, you... Uh, okay. Keep pressing. Why would you do something so dangerous? I heard a voice enter my head and say, Enter into a blood rage, sir. <laughs> Before I know it, I was on the attack. <laughs> All I could see was red. <laughs> Become my arbiter of the apocalypse. <laughs> I felt my blood begin to boil. <laughs> What else could I do? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When that Dark guy knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help Mr. Marshall. Uh, also, really quick, Luigi Steve has followed us. Luigi Steve, <laughs> what a great name. Power. Power that you wield, Luigi, Luigi Steve. Steve. It's very good. Hello, I'm Mario's bro other brother, Luigi Steve. <laughs> Nobody talks about me and I don't have it. You know, they made the year of Luigi. This year is going to be the year of Luigi Steve. <laughs> it's Luigi they're going time. To make, they're going to make... It's Stevie time. <laughs> God damn it. This they're going to make new Steve brothers you. Oh, I'm very no. excited. And it's all, and it's going to be a Wii U exclusive title. Uh oh. What do you mean you think? Therefore I am. <laughs> it, Got him. It all happened so fast and I was in shock. They call me Emma Descartes. 
I don't remember Did everything you just clearly. Car? Yeah, no, I, this, is, this is a joke. I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everybody, can we get some can we get some Fs in the chat for Zach's wow, career? Wow, okay. Jesus, I don't deserve that for that one. <laughs> Listen, Jick, what did I say? Dick Jumpshoe, that one y'all can shit on me for. But that one was totally fine. That was an, <laughs> like, it wasn't a banger, but it can get by without getting dunked on, all right? Come on. Thank you. Thank you for all the Fs, everybody. There are I so many Fs, it. and I don't deserve this. I want to go on the record for this, <laughs> with that one. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. And some posthumous dick jump shoe Fs as well. Okay. Throw them in there, Fine. too. Fine. Fine. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. In a matter of just a few seconds, Miss Sky was almost killed. Then she witnessed a murder about to take place. A little disorientation is only natural. I saw the man about to stab the other person, who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with a knife. What you did was very brave, young girl. So then, what happened next? What you did was much better than this shitty drawing. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop harping on it. Just... How dare you? How dare you bring this into my courtroom? Uh, Sexy Whistle Snail says, just don't teach a horse philosophy class, Zach. There's no point in putting Descartes before the horse. Very oh, good. Hey. Very good. <clears throat> now, see, I, Sexy Whistle Snail, are you free on Wednesdays? <laughs> we actually have an opening for a new host. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 I don't deserve this. Oh, okay. You saw the blue badger. Are you sure about this? <laughs> of course. See, I even drew a picture of him here. Okay, Emma. But the head detective of criminal affairs thought up this hideous thought up this hideous beast, and that was just this year. The Blue Badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. Also really quick, Saxy Whistle Snow says, yes, please, in all caps. <laughs> all right, there we go. It's official. <laughs> My job is Everybody gone. Look yep. <laughs> all right, uh, next week, Saxy Whistle Snow will take over voicing Phoenix and running the stream. There we go, everybody. <laughs> Canonically, that's what's happening. Yep. <laughs> Did you do this one? <sighs> Classic. Okay, come See, on. I can't wait. I can't wait when Saxy Whistle Snail comes on and we never have to do this. <laughs> jumping through hoops ever again. Saxy, I, when can oh, you start? Oh, my God. I know it sounds poor, strange. Poor I was surprised, too, when I saw him at the police department. <laughs> Oh no. Hello, puny mortals. Did you think you could escape? I had this nagging feeling. Wow. Again, classic Zach. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm reading the chat. I'm trying to read you reading the thing. You're taking too long. Oh, Your webcam is green. Fault. I don't know what's going on. You look like a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh shit, what is happening with my camera? That's fucking know. weird. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, combine them together, Zaxi Whistle Snail. <laughs> oh! Okay. Hey, listen, we both do make cocktails. You know, I, I'm, I got my got my, my daiquiri over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it confirmed they're the same person? Listen, nobody's ever seen me and Saxy Whistle Snail in the same place at the same time. Shit, this is the deep lore. <laughs> <laughs> now I finally remember Oh brother Just when you thought that thing had caused enough commotion Tell us Where in the room did you see him dancing? His You saw his shadow? 
So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? That's right. But I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. Hey, I worked really hard on that. <laughs> this is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation. If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. Uh, it we, was... We, we know what it is. It looks like Damon Gant. <laughs> now, what was it Emma saw when the, flash, when the lightning flashed? Who is this blue badger, really? Well, I was joking. Is it actually Damon Gant's head? No. Okay. No. We have we have evidence. Jeez, oh, I I'm actually I'm I, Pridge, I don't know if you know I I sure don't. Let me see. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamed up when Emma drew this picture, yet she's certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and mental gen, is it it is the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago. There indeed was something that looks similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright. What? In this room? In this uh, very, very well, room. Well, Mr. Wright. There's quite it's enough. It's you, Judge. Love you look like the blue badger. <sighs> How dare you? I'll hold you in contempt. <laughs> What is it that the witness saw at that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. It was the blue badger. It's the blue badger. <laughs> that would be very funny. Um, um, no. Oh. Is it the vase? Yeah, that's my. That was my instant thought too. I just wanted to see it more closely. Those two things on the side definitely is there look an like angle. Yeah. Like if it's that. That's... It's it's some angle of there that yeah. has got to be it. Present that. The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. But that, it, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Emma, shh. Indeed. The adults are talking. <laughs> Indeed, it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Now it becomes a pot. <laughs> our viewpoint? I've got to show them the correct angle to look at this from. Oh, no. I feel like the game... If I don't get the exact right angle, it's going to be like, fuck you, you idiot. Uh, yeah. It's... I'm pretty sure... Rotate it the other way. Like, yeah, all the way around. Yeah, rotate the other way. Now, it's like that, or something. That? No. Oh, oh uh... Keep going, keep going. Yeah. But that's like what I did. Maybe that is what it is. Yeah, now flip it up. Oh, oh there, yeah, there we go. Fuck okay, me. Okay, yeah, that's it exactly. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, is this a miracle, a miracle? or what? <laughs> <laughs> I actually made it look pretty good. No one can possibly deny that this jar is resemblance to this blue banjo. <laughs> Man, I fucking hate this tune. Such no. a bop. What are you talking about? It could be! Order! Order! The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. 
What? What's your point? Okay, you got me on that one. What do you mean? I, mean, I would, I would, ar I would argue. What's the point of any of this? Because we're still talking about Detective Goodman's murder. That's a good point too. So that badger thing was actually just a jar. <laughs> I Suru Vanille in the chat says, "I'm gonna show up with a boombox playing the Blue Badger tune at Zach's funeral." <laughs> <laughs> God damn. That doesn't change anything. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Uh, Phoenix, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> can we just can we just step outside for a second? <laughs> you, you do not you do not speak to me that way. I, how embarrassing. This is embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Indeed. Very well, then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Uh... Murder weapon. I... You think? Well... Because... I mean, the jar fell. There's, so the, I mean, there's blood on the jar. The jar was over towards Gant's desk, which I feel like that's what we knew already, right? I, I agree with you, Bridge. I think it's the location right now. Ah. I don't think it's the location. Because who gives a fuck about where in the office it is? I agree with that. Right. So I would just guess murder weapon. All right. Allow me to take these in turn. The moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. Not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? So I guess it is the location? Where? The location of this jar is shown in the picture on the day of the crime. So we're talking about the location, but it's changing the murder weapon. Uh, yeah, okay. it's very weird. So confused. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. We're not talking about the location. We're talking about the murder weapon. Penalty! But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Yes, and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see... The struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Sky's office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. Again, why is this what we're talking about when I selected the murder, murder weapon? weapon. Uh -huh. What is happening, video game? Very, very strange. Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body? From Damon Gant's office, to Lana Sky's office, Again, it's which the are the same, same room. room. It's not <laughs> the same room, damn it. And yeah. everyone has referred to it as their office. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Yes? <laughs> Why would he do that? There's no reason. Uh, no, there's a good reason. Exactly. <laughs> If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. <laughs> what? What is going on? Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? Uh, I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have to have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and mental gen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. Another way to phrase that is, look at this photograph. <laughs> Thank
Thankfully, he didn't say it. <laughs> if the man was knocked into the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting was sitting on, the jar was <laughs> shitting on. Hey, nice. What would he have hit? Ah! Uh, uh, the suit of armor, holding a very sharp and dangerous-looking sword. Yes. Uh, did Emma accidentally kill Neil Marshall? And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil, Neil Marshall, wielding the prosecutor's award. No. Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes. There is another possibility of what tra actually transpired in that room. Another possibility? Of course, the perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless, I I don't know if I can go through with this. The truth, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, the truth must be known. What's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. I wish, they wow, had, a... I wish they had done more than three frames of animation there, but still, it was cool. What a gorgeous animation sequence. I feel bad, because <laughs> so much of this case is so good, but yeah, them doing three frames is not great. Oh, uh, uh, dead. <laughs> like, they, if they had four, if they had one of him going like, ah, oh, and then the death, fine, but just skipping to dead is bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah you're uh, like, uh, skipping backwards, they're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna save state again because the chance reminded me. Thank you all very much. Emma, you're a murderer. <laughs> you, you mean Mr. Marshall died because of me? Uh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do feel bad about that one. Do feel very bad Court. about that one. Emma Sky is now guilty of the murder of Neil Marshall. Court adjourned. Good. Who the who the who the fuck cares who Good Man is? Yeah. We solved the case. God damn it! I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life. To be good to you in the chat says he's dead. He's dead, and you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But they should have animated it better, and I would have cared more. <laughs> hey, listen, Zach, they shoot you for that in Texas. That's very true. What would or, you what would your what would you, what would your your bay think if he heard you laughing about his dead brother? I mean You're right. We are we established he's not coming back, so who cares? Oh, <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Space Cowboy. Hmm. And then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented. I think that Emma's just gone. What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances... Go dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall! How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? It's an accident. Imagine, yeah, I mean... Imagine imagine that coming from you. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. Uh, Ariel Christmas... Uh, sorry, Christinas in the chat says, Zach will be sleeping on the couch for a while. <laughs> <laughs> the reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did. Wasn't it? Fuck. It was her who moved the body, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? Uh, uh, evidence? What's that? <laughs> I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it 
certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence. If you don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. But you're not. Dead. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. That's Fire. where I come in, sir. Fire. <laughs> this has all no, been not a... in this game anymore. Yeah. This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. Uh oh. Hmm. Touche, Miss Sky. I believe it's pronounced Tooch. Tooch. Okay. Toochie. Of course, and that only leaves us with one possibility. Uh, you mean, there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. Wait, what? For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. Uh... That's... That's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. Why do I have to prove this? Edgeworth brought up this weird thing. Uh, I know! Yeah, this sounds not edgy. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? Why do I have to do this? I've got to think back to the court record. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind. I legit have no fucking clue. Uh, Manfred Varkarma's name is on the prosecutor's trophy. Um, go back to the the vase. Oh, there was weird blood things. Oh, it does look like it could possibly say Emma, yeah? Oh, it definitely there. says Emma, yeah? Oh. Yeah. But also, this jar would have been broken at that point, right? Also, Marshall, don't be a dick. She was trying to save you. Why would you try and throw her under the bus like yeah, that? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, so I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> they shoot you for that in Texas. Okay, well, I mean, that's what it is move, Marshall. It's in the evidence. What a fucking leap of logic. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Again, she was doing a good thing. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Wright. Why are you being such a dick? Do not be mistaken, Miss Skye. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. Is it the truth? <laughs> it was the no. truth. No. No. <laughs> it is, simply put, the truth. <laughs> no matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright. If you really want to get this girl convicted of murder, this 16-year-old girl who's been your bestest friend this whole time, please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message your from Honor, the deceased. Your Honor, she has shoved luminol fluid down my throat too many times to get off the hook. <laughs> and she constantly gave credit to Edgeworth for things I said. There is no she forgiving. Friar. <laughs> This is the message left by the deceased. This is that blue badger from before, right? No. Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? Lana, if you didn't know what I was going to say, then why the fuck did you make a big deal? Instead of saying something stupid. If that thing I'm could. Dear Marshall, I, the blue badger, am telling you this information. If that thing could, I'm sure it would. I will. I am telling you now. Looks like everyone's forgotten. This is just a jar. <laughs> a, me <laughs> a message was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? 
Uh, Giant Penguin, again, with the fun facts, says, At one point during the development of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, the 3DS title, there were plans for a Blue Badger costume as DLC. Oh, hell yeah. That's crazy. If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there is a line here drawn in blood. So what you're saying is these dots were once lined. I'm saying connect the dots, you stupid idiot. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar with the lines changed direction. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. All and right. The victim's message will become apparent. Here we are playing connect the dots. All right, can we find a way to make it say Joe Dark? Oh my god, that'd be very <laughs> funny. Mr. Wright, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor? Was he telling us about Chili's incredible happy hour? Unfortunately, no. Your Honor, I believe these bloodstains will reveal to us the answer. I've got to connect these... My me i mean there's a big old there's a big one looks like an m yeah, right there's there an m starting there i've got to connect these little dots to make the letters there's only one thing the victim couldn't have written could have written considering the circumstances the murderer's name oh, would you like some blood they actually let me do i can that. help that's, you out that's really cool uh, no that's not <laughs> Uh, watch, if I didn't do that, that that cross, they would have fucking got me on that. And that would have uh -huh. made me... Oh, they would have. I mean, they might get you for not connecting that middle line to the I can't. The There's e. nothing there. Your Honor. What the hell does this say? It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's it innocence. It says VW3. It says D Upside down. L6. That's what I've... <laughs> oh, no! That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lana and throwing what my I sister out of the bus. About. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono Wizard says, it spells Leon. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Very good dang and run for reference. <sighs> After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. I can't read it. I can't read it. Why is the line not connected here? <laughs> Fuck off. This is gibberish. Penalty. Penalty. Of all people. Carlos, I'm sorry. I didn't acknowledge your day and run for references. I, I know you've also been doing it. Of about. all people, I'm very proud of Ema you. was the one who did it. Ema. Do we know any? Do we know any Emas? She, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Dang. Yeah. Lisa, Dang. Lisa, Dang. what will you do? See, worthy. Can't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> I'm glad you're still here, because I'm about to fucking put you on trial, you son of a bitch. Chief Gant. Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the cha in the case, were you not? Ugh. 
Yes, worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Well, that's I a mean, bit of an overstatement. Yeah. Innocent. I mean, again, let's remember, he went on a killing spree, killed three people, and there was no evidence, and he yeah. turned himself in the same day. Yeah. He also definitely attacked and did try to kill someone. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So at the very least, he would be in jail for attempted murder. Uh-huh. Which, if this nope. took place in Ohio, it's big crimes. <laughs> Not only that, but you used Forge evidence to ensure his conviction. Uh... <laughs> But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. Don't play with your fucking hair. I'm afraid that's not important. I'm afraid you're wrong. It's kind of important, though. Didn't you know? We aren't defenders of justice. What the yeah, no shit. fuck are you, then? What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death. It's no light matter. That's why apparently it takes place the same year they get convicted. For real. <laughs> yeah. We only have they three say days. Thought, they just send you right to the chair. No waiting. No appeals. Bang. In and out murder. <laughs> Even if there wasn't any cover up or evidence forgery. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Or the douchebag detectives who gave him fake evidence. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. I'm gonna enjoy watching you burn, Gant. Damn. What's going on at the prosecutor's office? Uh, they notice... might have sent an innocent man to his death. How could he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Mommy, what's going on? <laughs> oh shit, it's the fourth order! Whoa! Uh, the gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle nice. the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. Ban -a -dan -dan -dan. Son of a bitch! There it is. <laughs> Except we know that Emma's a murderer. That's true. Unintentionally, but think yes. All this time, we were being assisted by a murderer. By, em by Emma Dark. Emma Dark. Who was trying to throw us off the case this entire time. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you again on another stream. Uh, Wes was telling me there might be maid outfits. There might be. Uh, I'd love to try. I'd love to try one on. Oh my you know, God quite slimming on me oh that'd be the most cursed content but i'm i'm excited for it potentially so uh everybody thank you so much and uh i'll see you at chili's all right wes get back in here oh, i'm gonna go grab him i'll be right, right back okay thank you your honor um, hey what's up everybody wes hey, welcome wes. Yeah, You're... I, 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 sorry it took me so long to get back. My my grandpa just insisted that I drive him to Chili's right now. Oh well. So, uh... Oh well, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Luckily, Wes... it's right down the street, so it wasn't that bad. Wes, How I... was the stream? Uh, it was really good. Uh, your uncle was. Yeah. Wait, wait. Sorry, was it your uncle or your your great grandpa. your grandpa? My grandpa. My yeah. grandpa. Sorry, uh, your uncle was great. Really good. Oh, been... yay! Oh, I'm so glad. I heard I heard the, some of the voices he were doing. They were pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you know uh, I, I I can I can see uh, some resemblance to some of my characters, but you know, like for his age, I thought he made a pretty good attempt. Very yeah. much, very much. Yeah, yeah. That being said, uh, at six eleven p.m. today, which is where I'm starting, Don Sun, a great house, posted some content. <laughs> uh, we've got. I don't know what's going on, but we have Gregory Edgeworth holding a baby. Uh huh. And then you got Gregory. What on earth are you do? A cane shotgun. <laughs> Yeet. 
Why is I... Edward eating his child? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, context is given further down. Okay. What is the context? It was a oh, it was a moment from Ace Auto Autocorrect. The, oh, the thing that we will that we're going to read at some point. Yes, 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 yes. Very good point. Uh, Eggman says I was watching episode twenty-five and someone mentioned something about Edgeworth and address. Anyways, here it is. Hey, <laughs> more Edgeworth and address. Heck yeah, that's really good. <laughs> oh, the little the little horny jail yeah, up there. The that's horny jail. The horny jail remote too. <laughs> <laughs> can you read the uh the thing in the top <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yeah. well right are you happy now almost you forgot the shoes horny jail <laughs> and, oh it's right in the west edgeworth yep. so oh what are you what are you in for Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Uh, oh, no. Shadow Phoenix. Oh, no. More nightmare fuel. Yeah. Badger. Oh, it's terrifying. Uh, I, I just like, I just like the, 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 the caption. Blue Badger will always be cute. <laughs> Look at him. He's a friend. Just followed by fucking six legs spider fucking Adorable. monster. Adorable. Uh, following up, we've got Nightfall. There have been too many creepy blue badgers, but one that isn't literary. But here's one. Have one that's not literally nightmare fuel. <laughs> that blue badger fucks. Blue badger, but not terrified. But not terrified. <laughs> Gain love draws this. How do you want to do this? Well, add dialogue about dicking later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shadow Phoenix says, "I feel called out. I can totally draw a cute blue badger." Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. really cute. Uh huh. <laughs> Why is his paw red? Uh huh. <laughs> what is that? What has he done? <laughs> Got Maya oh with the pipe. no! Oh no! Not again! Dusk, not what have again. you done? Oh, that is some that is some of the worst Five Nights at Freddy's blue badge uh, I've ever seen. You guys seen. didn't even see anything to go to the next one down. Oh no, Shadow oh, Phoenix! No! What have you done? What have you done? Blood for the blood god, sir. Mike this, Meekins takes many forms. This, this is, is simply one of them. This, uh, Dusk also with the collaborative effort of a bunch of different uh, characters that the community has created. Oh, uh, cool. We've got Sir Vector Render, which uh, is short for Surrender, which is a very great name. Ah, uh, uh, that's good. Uh, blue. I, like uh, I can't tell what. This, this is, is all, all I, have. I have energy for. Lol. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So very <laughs> cute. We've got Ginny, Ginny Questria. Sorry, Ginny Questra, uh, which is Ooh. so good. Uh, I like her. The equestrian, again, the design is dope. The horse's design being the same. I would love yeah. to see what her breakdown sprite is because I cannot even imagine it. Uh, I imagine that, I imagine there's got to be like the hair flips up out of the eyes. That's got to uh, be one. Point. But what does the horse do is my question. Because the horse eats, is part of it. Eats. Eats her hat. <laughs> uh, we've got Charlie in the judge's position, which, I'm oh, sorry, not no, Charlie. That's, that's, that's Billy. Uh, that's Billy. Sorry. Billy. Sorry, Billy. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Ethan Nolan. Uh, this is a character by Dust Plague. Uh, <laughs> am I missing I the pun? The grapes is the hair. Ethan Nolan, like a vineyard person. Uh, sommelier. Oh, Ethanol, ethanol. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Ethanol. Makes sense, uh, makes sense. Thank you, chat. Uh, Thank you, chat. That's ethanol. very clever. I like that. That is that. really good. That's really good. Uh, we've got uh, Reed Herring. Again, obviously, yeah, okay. a, re a red herring pun. Uh, it's a fisherman. Red herring? <laughs> it's very good. And we got uh, Lawrence Tries. I'm just, uh, that says Lawrence, right? Lawrence Tries. 
Yeah, uh, Lawrence tries. Not his final design. This is proof Lawrence tries. <laughs> That's funny. He tries to art, says Don Sun. Very funny. <laughs> uh, so, so Emma? Uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. It's really good. Thank you all so much. Again, uh, designing original characters of like the Ace Attorney universe is really fun to us. So, Oh, absolutely. Uh, Don Sun, we've got, uh, I believe this is more OC, uh, context of the rock in the house translated Phoenix, Edgeworth and Maya's wiki descriptions into Google translate myself. Curse and dust took these translations to make some characters with descriptions. Uh, <laughs> what? I need to go read the actual uh, uh -huh. translation because I'm assuming the leftmost is Phoenix, the middle is Edgeworth, and the right is Maya. <laughs> but their characters being changed this much is so really... wild. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to. The left one looks like a fucking old school Doctor Who character. <laughs> That's very true. Oh, uh, this is important. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shadow Phoenix made an actual animatic of of us, which I believe this will actually get it on screen. Let me move it over here. Uh, this, this is from our... Oh, let me... If I full screen it, will it work? Yes, okay. Nice. <clears throat> Emma's drawing. <laughs> I mean, how can you not convict someone with yeah. this evidence? I love, I love that. Uh, <laughs> a little ta-da! Uh, Wes, could you give me a, 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 a hot take of the judge's reaction to seeing this drawing? <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, this is, um, it's great. Yeah, you did a very, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this right on my podium. Oh. Very good. That was great. Can we get this? Can we get this kid out of here? This drawing fucking sucks. <laughs> it's so fucking so funny. Excellent. It's so fucking funny. Honestly, like again, all of the art that we get from this just makes this so much fucking fun. And so stuff much. like this just makes just it. This just makes my day. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> And Shadow uh, Phoenix, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, for it, real. It's so, it's so good. You knocked it out of the park. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Curse Curtain with more uh, Marshall. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love this animation. Hell yeah. It's really good. All right, here we go. Saying goodbye is hard, but a cowboy has got to ride the wind, and so should you. Take care of Billy. And my it, McSpikey. Wait, what? Oh, they care Billy and McSpikey for me, will you? I'll be waiting at Chili's. You know the one. You know the one. But from now until we meet again. So long, Texas Ranger. <laughs> uh, best parts are A, he's definitely just riding a horse head in a stick away, yeah. which is fantastic. Oh my yeah, god. <laughs> and I love how I have, I have a bottle of A1. Yeah, it's incredible. Also, Those are my two favorite also, details on this piece. Hold up. Oh. It looks like when he lifts his hat, he doesn't have anything beneath the hat. That's a good, you know, I didn't realize that. Which is really funny <laughs> if he's like lifting his hat and there's actually nothing beneath it. I didn't realize that. That is funny. <laughs> Dawn Sun, second one is spoiled because of our favorite coffee juice boy. Eh, we can talk about Godot. Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. Chilies. <laughs> they simply this is mean... a commercial for Chilies. Yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> they simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. <laughs> oh, I, I like I like I the love, rhyme. I love that literally in the last artwork, uh, that Jake Marshall said, I'll see you at Chili's. You know the one. And then this I, one is And there we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh cursed with some more. Oh. Uh, art for that. series Ace Autocorrect. My interpretation of Phoenix's Skype dog John. Aww, 
Damn, I gotta. That's I gotta, so cute. I gotta catch up on these Ace autocorrects. <laughs> oh, we'll have to. We'll have to have a read through at some point. We will. We will. I, I assume at the start of the next game when we have like literally three cases where the episodes are very short. We'll we'll take care of it. Yeah, the, the Edgeworth eat the child. Now I understand that because I've been seeing it and I'm like, what does this mean? But now I get now I get it. Uh, Don son, my snazzy bastards I love, don't judge. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean you can't you can't you can't not love them. Fucking been swimming lately. Uh, Shadow Phoenix with more artwork this time. Lana. Oh damn. And uh, Gantz. It's That's so very good. good. Also, I, I don't know if y'all noticed the the specific choice of making the tip of Gant's sword, the hilt, be the blue badger. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and and so much That's of their really so much good. of their design too has the uh, the the police department symbol on it too of like the weird U with the circle in the middle. Uh-huh. He's also uh-huh. got the same cross shaped thing. He does. Yeah. His- he does. His uh-huh. chef's guard is the same as his weird outfit. It's, oh, and and uh-huh. his uh, eye patch is pink like his actual glasses. Ah, uh, hell yeah! This that's really good. It's really good. Uh, There's Shadow. a lot of really cool details in that. Yeah, that Shadow are really, Phoenix, really creative. Fucking crushing it as per usual. I love this series. I love that idea. Uh, again, curse curtain with more uh, Phoenix drinking way deep in the in the grape juice. Uh, again, <laughs> great, great joke for the franchise that we haven't even got to a single instance of grape juice yet. Uh, more with Chris Curtin. <laughs> right. Right. I don't think that's pep- shut. Any drink can be Pepsi if you think small enough. What are you on? Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Donson. With more uh, uh, blue badger influenced Pokemon, hell oh, yeah! Oh, no. this, well, this I like two. Two is very cool. One is terrifying. Yeah, one's terrifying. I like this, two. Uh, and and the one underneath <laughs> it is like a Lanoon based uh, blue badger, which I I do like actually. Uh, <laughs> nest with the uh, the popcorn full of attorney badges. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Donson with many dragons. What looks like a Von Karma dragon and an Edgeworth dragon. Hell yeah. And another dragon entirely. It's it's a Maya dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I love love Gant dragon. Oh, shit. Gant dragon's rad as fuck. Yeah. I love what they did with like the the, the back. Yeah, the name. Yeah. Really and like cool. coming up and being the little lightning bolt in the front. Oh, That's yeah, really cool. and the glasses and the collar. Uh, yeah, curse curtain with more of the the Ace Attorney uh, oh. pony art. Oh. They're so cute. It's really good. Uh, we got so Phoenix good. again. I love the the badge. The the the, the cutie feather. mark is the actual badge with the Phoenix feather. Maya is really good. Yeah, that's cute as hell. It's really fucking good. And it's Edgeworth, really what the fuck? These are amazing. Yeah, these it are all very, very good. My hardcore brony days. <laughs> <laughs> we got Phoenix as a styric, styricosaurus, and Maya as an archaeoptera. Wow, I don't know dinosaurs anymore. Uh, Archaeopteryx? I'm going to say that's what it is. All right. Uh... Phoenix, very good. very good. Yeah, I love the, the use of the uh, attorney's badge as like the design, and then the, Maya. The second one, the the Maya one, looks like a Yu Gi Oh card. It actually does. Yeah, it does kind of. <laughs> like just put put the border around it and like a black background, and you've got a Yu Gi Oh card. <laughs> really quick, uh, sexy whistle snail in the chat does highlight a message saying, "I would like to remind you all of my availability next Wednesday." <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can come hey, after my job. With, roasted out here. You can come after my job with my cold dead body. Oh shit! Yes, Doctor Puster with Mario Marshall. Mario Marshall that is actually so good. good. <laughs> it's me. I'm number one. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Oh my god. It's so, so, so much. Good. You're, You're playing my game. <laughs> god damn. Your princess is in another castle. They shoot you for that down in Italy. Your bambina is in another castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and they also made a, a a Bowser version of of Gant. Ah, cool! That's fucking rad. <laughs> wow, that makes me for some reason when I see that I I, I see like an Advance War CO. It does look like yeah, it does give me uh, Advance Wars flashbacks. I I also got like Leprechaun Gant. Yeah, very much. <laughs> Just the green and the red hair. Uh, under the rainbow, you'll find his fifty dollars. Uh, Ram of Mars. Just 50 bucks. Yeah, Ram of Mars with the derpy judge doodle. Please be kind. Hey, listen. listen, that actually looks just like me in that judge cosplay. So. Sorry, you mean like your your grandpa? What did I say? Uh, you meant like your grandpa. We 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 heard something crazy, but you right, your right. That that does look like my yeah. yeah I think yeah, my yeah. thing. Oh shit! Uh, oh, sky's I, the limit. The Minecraft. This yes. So good. It's That's really so good. good. Oh, she's adorable. That is very, very good. Do you think she's rocking a AK racing chair? What do, What do you think she's got? Uh, oh, I mean, she absolutely got those... overspends on a gaming chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's definitely got those turtle beaches on though. Turtle beach. Gia, here's my earlier interpretation of the Emma drawing before we saw it in game. I drew the window to with curtains, knife, I think, scientifically speaking, can't be sure, Joe, cowboy hat man, prosecutor, but not as much of a hunk as Mr. Edgeworth, heart, heart, and the sky. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feeling. Just, God bless. just God curse bless you. already, you soon dare a heck. <laughs> Uh, Danish man, poor Emma. <laughs> I, love, I love the faces in the top left. There is that, Emma. Fucking, I can't decide which one of them I think is funnier because they're all so good. Like Neanderthal Phoenix, angry Edgeworth, or just like, blank. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Nest, we've got uh, actual sounds. Court is now in session for the trial of Don Sun. Oh, God. Red red Tic Tac Enjoyer. Oh, Red Tic Tac Enjoyer. Okay, okay, okay. It's a okay. TikTok joke. All right, this is giving me a... Uh, oh. Giving me, like, Persona 3 remix of... Yeah. Of... Ace Attorney music. This is really good. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh, fuck yeah. The bass, the bass slaps. Yeah. This is really good. Nasty, you're crushing it. Uh, Wes is a nice grandson to the judge by Sketchman. <laughs> oh, that's cute as hell. <laughs> Granddad, for the last time, you have to log into Discord to accept Zach's call. Oh, oh I see now. Thank you, Wesley. You're such a nice young man. I love, I love that Wes also has a shirt saying "I heart perfect." Yeah, we we got we got we got to find a way to get Wes that actual shirt. Oh, we can I make that. that. Shirt, we can make that happen. Just I heart the official I heart perfect slapped <laughs> up. We, we can make that happen. That's that's not. Bad. Oh, gynecologist with the teddy bear gum shoe. I want that. I want to hug him. And the, the oh, I want to hug it. The pencil behind the ear too. Damn, it's really good. Oh, he really is just a giant teddy bear. He oh, is. I want, I want to hug that teddy bear Damn, so much. It's really good. God, apologist. Thank you very much. Yain Love <laughs> Meekin summons Joe Dark from the Blood Dimension. <laughs> just Meekin speaking in tongues. Fridge, Fridge, you give me a Joe Dark. I like this. 
fuck you assholes want. <laughs> oh shit, we got fucking Miles in a maid outfit, cat maid outfit. Oh shit. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Objection. Updated ops op- autopsy report, Yan. <laughs> Oh my god. And then yeah, <laughs> Miles and Phoenix with with Edgeworth being a cat boy. <laughs> Very cute. cute. Uh, Phoenix, right. Very cute. Me, Miles, and Phoenix. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh shit, a Sufa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Lada, Lada! Look at this picture of Bill Nye I drew. Well, I bet it's lovely, Emma. I drew it all by myself. Clearly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the oh, face. God. Oh, God. The face is so good. Also, fucking 14-year-old Emma is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So fucking cute. With the little the, overalls. The overalls and the heart-shaped frames. Are you kidding yeah. me? Must be yeah. protected at all costs. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> uh, that kind of artist introducing everyone in court to his Aww. favorite grandson at a very bad time. Meet my grandson, everyone. <laughs> Smiling Possum Wes. Uh, Saxy Whistle oh, Snail, cute. again, uh, will be replacing me next week, but they do have a new cocktail. This is called the Samurai Shot. Uh, which is very the cool. Uh, the fact the fact that yeah, it's a layered cocktail is very impressive. Uh, the bottom layer is made with grenadine and creme de cassis. The top layer is made oh. with vodka, triple sec, simple syrup, and lots of silver luster dust. Maybe I'll mix a little black luster dust next time so it looks less white. That sounds like magic. It does sound really cool. Uh, a little fun adding the steel samurais uh, uh, ob to the two ounce shot glass. But I wish I had a spear-shaped swizzle stick and a tiny Japanese flag fan holding law. Uh, it's definitely very important to serve this in some kind of stir stick since the layers don't taste good by themselves. <laughs> that looks so good. It is really impressive. That, look, that looks Jackson, really. Are you like making like a are you making like a, a cocktail recipe book or something? Uh, like again, actually, Saxy, your your presentation of cocktails is better than most people's presentation of cocktails in New York City. So I will say that as a high praise. Yeah. Uh, Yane Love again with the, the horny jail, the judge in horny jail, and he didn't even get put in there. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the judge was very well behaved today. Uh, he's always on his best behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emma, can I show you an experiment I did? An experiment? I'd love nothing more. Okay, my experiment was to see how scary people were when they're angry. The guinea pigs were Edgeworth and Gumshoe. <laughs> Edgeworth was traumatizing. He said he'd kill me when I said I broke his steel samurai figure. Described it in vivid detail, too. But Gumshoe, he was the scariest. He was just disappointed in me. He said, I'm not, he said, I'm not mad, pal, just disappointed. Oh. Don't talk to me like that in court. It's embarrassing. Okay, but like it's not though. Oh, sorry. Okay, but like it's not though. Shut up. <laughs> hey. Uh, don't be apologized. These are all so good. Yeah, you can be. Uh, congrats on finishing your finals. Yeah, congrats on finishing finals. Yeah, oh, yeah. That always that's, feels that's good. That's huge. <laughs> Freaking take a break. And I hope you're feeling better too. I remember you weren't feeling well a little while ago. So. Sorry. Uh, realize, realize I cropped uh, JoJo's thing on the side here. Please, uh, if you're not already, go follow clumsily.jojo on uh, Instagram. You heard it here first. Uh, JoJo, fantastic <laughs> as always. Thank AT- you. ATD says, Zach, this is why you're being replaced. Okay, come on. <laughs> 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 uh, King Curon. <laughs> Oh, sweet diamonds. I'm not playing Minecraft. It's so good. Can we get some pogs in the chat? <laughs> Fix that. There we go. 
<laughs> Thank you, Kieran. Centaro, uh, been working on this for a so while, good. even though uh, really I chose good. sleep over watching the stream. Uh, I just want to show this off. Hope you enjoy. Oh, this shit. So it's really all three good. of us. What yeah. the fuck? We got chilies to go. The A1 sauce to go along with it. There's a Phoenix and Miles rubber ducky is kissing in the pool. It's <laughs> incredible. The blue badger is in horny jail. Yep. <laughs> the maid outfit down in the bottom. Oh my god, I just noticed that. We got what we got both Charlie and Billy in there. Yep. Are those angry orchards? Then there's just nappy juices. They're happy juices. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> also, also, uh, the fact that it just says, "Look at this photograph." <laughs> There's a photograph that says, "Look at this photograph." <laughs> oh, it's yeah. incredible! It's incredible. Thank so you good. so much, Centaro. We've got uh, Joe. I believe this is Joe Dark. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> the car accident. Uh, I just realized I have the worst <laughs> fetish ever. <laughs> I also love I also love how he doesn't have a knife in the first two and then in the third he just randomly pulls out a knife. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that was him holding it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh shit. Uh Jingle Pickety. <laughs> what? That's really Milk cool. can't heal everything, scientifically speaking. <laughs> Liar, cat girl Emma. <laughs> oh, it's cat girl. Okay, okay. Milk can't heal everything, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute as hell. Wes as the uh, the puppet master. That is very, very cute. Yeah. That's cute. I love that. Between all the characters, again, yeah, I mean, West, fucking a, a man of many talents here. Uh, <laughs> Meekins and Marshall, but Marshall standing on top of a fucking raised platform <laughs> so he could be taller than Meekins. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, oh, and also, the characters dude. in made outfits. Look at the Look at the king of the himbos himself. King of the he himbos is, in a main he outfit. He stands tall it's so and good. proud. It's so good. Uh, Yane Love again with more. Did this super quick. You have already murdered. Nani? <laughs> Very fucking funny. Uh, Blue. Uh, I thought this was the last stream, but I, th I think this got missed in the last stream. I think it did. Yeah. Uh, Very cute. So fucking cute. Emma playing DS. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> With the frogs. Uh, also, we've got... Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Wright uh, and Emma. Yeah. Mr. Wright, come play with me. Oh, no. I couldn't. I'm terrible at video games. Ah, darn it. I lost again. Eat that, Emma. <laughs> Ultimatonon. Uh, it's really Very cute, cute, Maya. Maya. Very cute, anime Maya. Anna Maya. Gone okay, ap apologist with Minecraft YouTuber, Emma. <laughs> it's really good. I, I love... I, we didn't have an OC, but we did have an alternate background. Yeah. There, which is Emma Minecraft. That's so fucking funny. Uh, oh, Audrey, inking this in the entire stream, you said time for art, and I think my heart gave out, but I made it. Hey, Maya, are you in uh, Bad Dysphoria Day? Yeah. Want to catch the Steel Samurai and eat, eat ice cream? Yes, please. I don't get the appeal of this show. That's because you're an old fuddy-duddy, Nick. Besides, this is the best episode! The evil magistrate's nephew finally joins the good guys. Jeez, thanks for the spoiler. You should invite Edgeworth to watch the Steel Samurai with us, Nick. Uh, last time he's... That's, that's you, that's you, that's you. Uh, last time he saw me, he said he never wanted to see me again. What happened to... We are rivals for now. 
you two clearly know each other. Don't you want to reconnect with him? Maya, it's complicated. Besides, even if you put a gun to his head, Edgeworth would choose death over watching a show like The Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh, and boy, do we know different. Uh, here we go, part two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nah, trust me, Nick. Us Steel Samurai fans can sniff each other from a mile away. Edgeworth totally wanted to geek out over meeting Mr. Powers. I know it. Whatever you say, Maya. But seriously, Nick, you have to find someone else to hang out with. Especially since I... Since I'm leaving in a week. Maya? Like you said, it's not forever, right? Still gonna be a while. Another quality... Another... Uh, quirky? Quirky. Another quirky yet lovable assistant isn't just gonna <laughs> show up at your door, Nick. Maya, I'll be fine. I have other friends, like... Larry? Okay, maybe I might be a little lonely while you're gone. <laughs> uh, but I'll be fine, honest. So quit worrying, okay? Oh, shoot. Did I miss which this, where this one was? Uh, oh, yes, I did. Oops, here we go. Uh, but, but, but. Okay. Nick, thank you. Huh? For what? What do you mean, for what? For defending, finding Sis's killer, for making, you, for making me your assistant, for everything. Well, thank you for sticking by my side. You've been a, a light for me these past few months. Honestly, you're the little sister I never knew I wanted. Uh, remembering coming out to Mia, I never knew I wanted a little sister until I until now I love you, Maya. I know it's only for a few months, but I'll miss you, big bro. I'll miss you too. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, Nichan. Don't say, don't ruin it, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little sis. Uh, you do not understand, evil magistrate. Family is not found in blood. It is found in those who care about you, in those who fight for you. That is family. That's really cute. That's really cute. That's really good. I uh, love that. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Audrey. It was really uh, adorable. Uh, that kind of artist. Uh oh boy, we mentioned uh him. Uh huh. Young me absolutely loving queer coded villains. Clearly, this means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> me now, be gay, do crime. <laughs> uh, be gay, do crime. Uh, I mean, it's hard to argue with the facts. <laughs> be gay, do crimes. Uh, we got Jingle Pickety. Don't mind me. Gonna make Maya a Genshin character. Oh, very cute. Hell yeah. Thank you all so much. Again, that has been another exciting episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. And this week, an actual judge. Thanks once again, uh, West. Your your grandpa showing up for the stream was very much appreciated. I'll let him know. He's just he's getting he's getting his drink on down at Chili's happy hour right you now. You know what? So, good. I, I will be there shortly. Uh, that being said, thank you all for watching. Again, if you if you are watching the show live, you can do so on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night on our YouTube channel. I just said the Twitch channel already. Uh, <laughs> a link to that will be down in the episode hey. description as well. But if not, no worries. It will come apart in two episodes on our YouTube the very following Monday and Tuesday. That is youtube.com slash save data team as well. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, court is adjourned. We will finish this game next week, everybody. Get hyped. We'll be back. Uh, very exciting final stream for this game. Phoenix Friday's attorney. Oh, yeah. <laughs>